Hello there! Que bom que você está aí de novo. Você está de parabéns. Está chegando a lição 50. Lesson 50. E eu sei que você está acompanhando também pela internet. Isso é ótimo, porque você pode repetir as lições, repetir mais vezes cada frase. Sabe que uma língua a gente aprende em frases, não em palavras avulsas. Esquece o dicionário. Frases, é isso que você precisa, repetir as frases. Lição 50, Lesson 50. Você vai ver hoje, reported speech. O que, que é isso? Digamos que eu diga a você, uh, não beba, isso faz mal. O que foi que eu disse? Eu disse que não bebesse porque isso faria mal. Reported speech. Você vai ver no follow me. Lição 50, lesson 50. Lesson 50. Adoro essas lições que têm número redondo. São as mais interessantes. Você vai ver. Vamos ao primeiro trecho. Follow me. Let's go on there. You go. I'll wait here. If I go on that, I'll be ill. No, you won't. I will. And if you go on it, you'll be ill. Of course not. You wait for me then. Yes, I said I'd wait, didn't I? I don't mind waiting, but I'm not going on there. Hello. If you watch these programs, you'll learn more English. That's something that will happen. Our program today is about saying things like that. For example, as my wife says, if you drink too much, you'll be ill. That's what she said yesterday. If I drank too much, I'd be ill. She was right. If it's fine tomorrow, I'll go and see Elsie in the afternoon. All right, Doris. If you eat too much, you'll be ill. Uh -uh. Not me. <laughs> You've got a customer. <clears throat> right. <sighs> uh, it's a hard life. Welcome, oh. my child. Hello. Sit. Thank you. Speak. Pardon? Speak. Tell me what you want to know. Oh, well, it's about Jason, my boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. I see him, yes. Oh, do you? Well, I want to know, are we going to get married? Jason and me, that is. Tell me, when are you going to see him again? Will you see him tomorrow? Yes, I'll see him in the evening. Yes, you are going to see him tomorrow. I see you together. Oh, no, wait a minute. I won't see him tomorrow because he's in Liverpool. I'm not going to see him till Friday. But I see Jason with a girl. Perhaps the girl isn't you. Oh. Or perhaps the girl is you, but the young man isn't Jason. Has the young man got dark hair? Yes. And is he tall? Yes. That's David. He asked me if I'd go to the cinema tomorrow. And you will go. Yes, I think I will. Tomorrow will be an important day. Yes. David or Jason? Yes. <clears throat> I see a good future for you. Oh. You will be married. You will have children. You will be lucky. I see money. Oh, good. <laughs> One pound? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come and see me again. 
I will have more news for you. Yes, I will. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, God. <sighs> yes. It's a hard life. When are you going to see him again? I won't see him tomorrow because he's in Liverpool. Veja bem, eu tenho várias frases para você no quadro. Você vai repetir depois de mim. Olha só. You will be ill. You will be ill. Você vai ficar doente. To be, ser, estar, ficar. You will be ill. Você vai ficar doente. You will be ill. Repeat. You will be ill. Very good. If you drink too much, you will be ill. Se você beber demais, você vai ficar doente. Repeat. If you drink too much, you will be ill. Come on. If you drink too much, you will be ill. Very good. She said... O que foi que ela disse? If I drank too much, I would be ill. Começa com she said. Ela disse. Então, aqui já estou contando o que ela disse. If I drank too much, se eu bebesse demais. Olha o tempo do verbo aqui. If I drank too much, I would be ill. Eu ficaria doente. She said that if I drank too much, I would be ill. Repeat. She said that if I drank too much, I would be ill. Very good. Speak. Fale. Tell me what you want to know. Diga o que você quer saber. Tell me what you want to know. Diga me. O que você quer saber? Repeat. Tell me what you want to know. Very good. I want to know. Eu quero saber. Are we going to get married? Jason and me, that is. Eu quero saber. Nós vamos nos casar? Jason e eu? Quer dizer, quer dizer Jason e eu? Então, I want to know, are we going to get married? Vamos parar aqui um pouco. I want to know, are we going to get married? Repeat. I want to know, are we going to get married? Jason and me, that is. Jason and me, quer dizer, Jason e eu. Jason and me, that is. Repeat. Jason and me. That is very good. Continuando. Will you see him tomorrow? Você vai vê-lo amanhã. Will you see him tomorrow? Repeat. Will you see him tomorrow? Very good. I'm not going to see him till Friday. Não vou vê-lo até sexta-feira, Friday. I'm not going to see him Till Friday. Come on. I'm not going to see him till Friday. Repeat. I'm not going to see him till Friday. Very good. That's Davis. He said Davids. He asked me if I'll go to the cinema with him tomorrow. Que foi que ele pediu? Perguntou. He asked me. If I'll go to the cinema with him tomorrow. Ele perguntou se eu vou ao cinema com ele amanhã. Repeat the sentence. He asked me if I'll go to the cinema with him tomorrow. Come on. He asked me if I'll go to the cinema with him tomorrow. Very good. Yes, you will go. Tomorrow will be an important day. 
Tomorrow will be an important day. Repeat. Tomorrow will be an important day. Amanhã vai ser um dia importante, que eles vão ao cinema. You will be married. You will have children. You will be lucky. Vocês se casarão, terão filhos, terão sorte. I see. Money. Ah, viu dinheiro. Então, dá tudo certo. You will be married. Repeat. You will be married. You will have children. You will have children. You will be lucky. You will be lucky. I see money. I see money. Very good. Podemos continuar? Foi difícil esse pedaço? Veja na internet, repita essa parte. Vai ser bom para você. Vamos ao Follow Me? I have some questions for Cedric. Yes? He is in the other world. I see. My questions are, can he hear me and see me? Will I see him again? I will ask him one moment. Yes, Cedric, speak. Yes, I hear you. Yes, I will tell her. He said he can hear you and see you all the time. And he asked if you could see him. He is near you. No, Cedric, I can't see you. Where are you? He is there. He said that one day you would see him again. Oh, good. Now the most important question. It's about Tom. Should I say yes or no to him? Will Cedric be angry if he comes into the house? Ah, another man in your life. Not another man, another dog. Are you sure you're speaking to Cedric? Can you speak to dogs? Everything is possible in the other world. Yes! Yes, Cedric! I understand! He will not be angry. He says you have to take Tom into your house. You need a friend! Oh, thank you, Cedric. Thank you. And he says you have to come here again in a few days' time. <laughs> Come and talk to him. I will. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Crystal. Thank you. He said he could hear you. He said that one day he would see you again. E aí, você é daquele tipo que quer saber se, se as coisas vão acontecer, o que, que vai acontecer, o que, que não vai? Eu não, viu? eu prefiro a surpresa. Mas eu tenho uma surpresinha boa para você, tá no quadro. Will I see him again? Will I see again? Will I see again? Will I see him again? Will I see him again? Vamos repetir? Eu vou vê-lo de novo. Will I see him again? Repeat. Will I see him again? Good. I will ask him one moment. Vou perguntar para ele. Um momento. I will ask him one moment. Come on. I will ask him one moment. Good. Você também pode dizer one moment, please. Ah, assim fica melhor. He said that one day you will see him again. Ele disse, que foi que ele disse? That one day you will see him again. Que um dia você vai vê-lo de novo. He said that one day you will see him again. Repeat. He said that one day 
you will see him again. Good. Should I say yes or no to Tom? Devo dizer sim ou não para Tom. Should I say yes or no to Tom? Come on. Should I say yes or no to Tom? Another man in your life. Um outro homem em sua vida. Another man in your life. Repeat. Another man in your life. Other quer dizer outro. Another, um outro. Another man in your life. Um outro homem em sua vida. Not another man. Another dog. Not another man, another dog. Repeat. Not another man, another dog. Ah, ela estava falando de outro cachorro, não de outro marido. Are you sure you're speaking to Cedric? Você tem certeza que está falando com Cedric? Cedric, ele entendeu que era o marido, mas era o cachorro. Are you sure you're speaking to Cedric? Can you speak to dogs? Are you sure you're speaking to Cedric? Repeat. Are you sure you're speaking to Cedric? Can you speak to dogs? Come on. Can you speak to dogs? Very good. Podemos continuar? Eu tenho mais um trechinho do Follow Me para você. Vamos a ele? Now, what's happening here? Everyone is very serious. What are they doing? Ah, today's racing. That's the answer. They're trying to decide which horses will win today. We're in a special kind of shop where you can bet on horses. It's a bookmaker's or betting shop, as people call it. In Britain, betting is big business. These are the names of the horses. And here at the race course, miles away from the betting shop, are the horses themselves. Now they're putting up the names of the jockeys. They ride the horses. If they can get on them. These are other bookmakers, men who take bets at the race course. And these are tic-tac men. They have their own special sign language, as you can see. They give the bookmakers the latest information about the horses and the betting. The race will start in a moment, and back in the shop, as well as at the race course, people are deciding how to bet. Who's going to win today? Hold it. 
Nearly ready. And they're off! The winner! And those who said that horse would win, get their money. Realmente, da Inglaterra apostar, fazer apostas é um grande negócio. Na Índia também, viu? Os hindus adoram cavalos e vão mesmo às corridas e apostam pesado também lá na Índia. Eu vi isso e é muito interessante de se ver. Veja, bookmakers, veja aqui. Bookmakers, está aqui, nesse pedaço. Bookmakers, eu queria a tradução disso, mas disseram que bookmaker é uma palavra usada também desse jeito em português. São aquelas pessoas que recebem as apostas. Na Inglaterra, bookmakers também é a loja onde você vai para fazer as apostas, ok? O lugar, betting shops, lojas de apostas. Bookmakers or betting shops. Repeat. Bookmakers or betting shops. To bet é apostar. Ok? In Britain, na Inglaterra, ou no Reino Unido, na... betting is big business. Betting is big business. In Britain, betting is big business. Repeat. In Britain, betting is big business. Very good. Race horses, você viu nesse trecho, são corridas, corridas de cavalos. Race são corridas, race, horse, race horses. Jockeys ride the horses if they can get on. Os jockeys montam os cavalos se eles conseguem montar. Né? Jockeys ride the horses if they can get on. Repeat. Jockey ride the horses if they can get on. On, very good, porque os, os jockeys são pequenininhos. Bookmakers, race course. Race course é a, a pista onde os cavalos correm, tá? Race course está aqui. E who is going to win today? Quem vai vencer hoje? Who's going to win today? Repeat. Who's going to win today? Who is the winner? Ah, the winner. You are the winner. Você é o campeão para mim, porque você é estudioso, você é dedicado, você está acompanhando. Follow me. Speak. Oh, right. Now, Manchester United are playing Leeds on Saturday. Who will win? And who will win at Everton? Ipswich? Young man. Yeah. I will tell you about your future, but not about games of football. Oh. I wish I could, but I can't. Oh, all right. Cheerio. George! What's the matter, Doris? There's a policeman outside. He asked if you could go and talk to him. I can't see him now. He said he'd wait. Oh, no. Oh, George, what will happen? I don't know what'll happen. Well, look in there. He said he'd wait. He said he'd wait. Você viu nesse trecho um jeito de se despedir? O rapaz estava se despedindo ali. Cheerio! Cheerio! Bonitinho esse, né? Vamos continuar? Follow me. Today, I hope you understood. 
When are you going to see him again? I won't see him tomorrow because he's in Liverpool. He said he could hear you. He said that one day he would see you again. He said he'd wait. He said he would wait. Doris? Yes! I really can see the future. Olha só a lição 50 terminando agora. Você só tem uma dezena de aulas de Follow Me pela frente. Tá de parabéns. Eu gosto de gente assim, firme e forte, estudando comigo, estudando na internet para ter aquele inglês que é um cartão de visitas. Thank you very much. Goodbye.